Hello there, Virgo, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing good out there. And Virgo, in case you don't know how it works on this channel, is that I channel out whatever spirit wants me to for however long. And it is for you, Virgo, in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For whenever you get this video and it resonates for your situation, then it's meant for you. All right, Virgo, you got something coming to life here. So... Ooh, we are transforming and metamorphosing this. I'm getting fire sign and also wa water sign, actually. So perfect combination, you know, the blending of two, uh, making something new. You like that? Ooh, I like that. Blending of two, making something new. Okay, coming to life. You know, I'm getting fire sign coming through. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and also Scorpio. I, I see this as like <clears throat> death card or possibly... Hmm, possibly moon energy as well. So Scorpio or Pisces is coming through here. So hmm, I feel that you're at the end tail of some type of great metamorphosis, a great change. So don't get hooked up on anything in the past. This is about your future. You may be noticing <clears throat> butterflies. Butterflies could be uh, speaking to you. So just know However, butterflies show up, whether real life or, you know, through a picture or whatever, and it speaks to you, um, those are signs and synchronicities that spirit is really guiding and protecting you, your treasures right now, and your future treasures, Virgo. Let's see, what else for Virgo? <clears throat> there could even be a new passion here. Virgo or, or or a reigniting a, a passion here with someone if you're currently involved in some type of important partnership. We've got the, the talisman here. So Virgo, there's something strong about you following your guidance right now. You know, do whatever you got to do in trusting yourself. You have really crystallized some type of wisdom. There's something about you being gifted and talented, trusting that your path is unfolding effortlessly and really just tap into the mystery and the magic of yourself and life and what's going on. You know, I, I get this thing about you having or coming into a new sense of heightened awareness. So pay attention to what's popping up on your path here. You may have already simplified your life or got rid of things, or you might be guided to do that. I would say do it. Okay less is best sometimes, you know, especially when you are uh, needing to move forward um, and allowing new things to come to you, right? Or just feeling light. Let's see what else for you, Virgo. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I really like that you got the golden palace. It's been a long time since I've seen this card come out. You might feel something is long overdue. Well, whatever, if it's long overdue or not, you are coming into a place of great wealth, materially, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. What did I just say about protecting treasure? And I'm seeing a, a house or a castle, a palace full of treasure, a safe place for you. Ooh, I'm getting 10 of pentacles with this Virgo. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the path is leading you right. Now, if something is feeling off to you, Virgo, in any circumstance, it's most likely some kind of past pattern or past energy or, <clears throat> you know, past memories here. That's okay to honor the past, but don't let it, um, <clears throat> excuse me, block your sight in the now, right? Because there's something about being in tuned and aware. Whoops. For all the blessings that are coming and leading you to your golden palace. I'm seeing heaven on earth here. Hmm. Nice. What else for Virgo? Some of you Virgos might be inspired by dancing or some type of movement for your body. You know, do it. Some of you Virgos, you may have something or receive some type of gift that I feel would be sacred to you. It would be useful for you. 
So use whatever you want to use. Honor yourself. You don't need a whole lot though, Virgo. The wisdom is within you, but take what you need, leave the rest. Okay? Look where look where you're going. This golden palace. Oh my goodness. It I swear this might have this and, and it's not like I use this deck of cards all the time, but <clears throat> you know, since I've had the channel, I really don't think I've had that golden palace come out. <laughs> you know, in a reading. So hmm, I like it. <laughs> what else for Virgo? Oh yeah, something's coming together, Virgo. Be open to, um, you know, partners or people, uh, new acquaintances, things that uh, come into alignment for you. It's leading you to a, a really good place. Something solid. Oh my gosh. I would be careful of this, you know, Virgo. I feel that this has been in your energy for a while. Envy, right? So pay attention to others right now. You may need to, you know, take this if it resonates because it's like a couple of things here with this Envy card is, um, you know, practice humility to avoid a jealousy or just... You know, just be, uh, you know, cautious and keep your dreams, your visions, your goals, your ideas to yourself for the time being, because you just never know with that envy card. Um, and also, if any of you Virgos um, have any sense of feelings, uh, you know, where where you're not feeling like you're getting what you want, like it's been long overdue, you know, I was picking up something about you coming into maybe what feels long overdue. It's coming in and it's coming soon. You don't need to worry. It's all happening for you and all, you know, and all its glory on its own in its own timing. Because it's between you and God here. Uh, you know, all of the beautiful things that are supposed to unfold on your path. So there may be something pointing you towards a new direction as well. I'm getting like two different energies with this. Actually, maybe three, but anyhow, five of swords, five of wands, and also judgment card in my mind's eye, um, Virgo. So there's like a culmination of things that, again, you have you have, or you're currently crystallizing wisdom. And um, the thing is, is you're, you're definitely ready for this, this path with new, a new uh, sense of awareness, perspective, and wisdom because we've got some type of knowledge. I don't like that one next to the golden palace. Let's leave that one over there. What else for Virgo? Slow and steady. I like this. You know, we're not having to go too fast. And <clears throat> Virgo, I really see this as earth energy as well. So, you know, you're right at home actually with where you need to be. You don't need to force anything or go too fast or go you know, uh, maybe even too slow, because if you go too slow, then <laughs> we might be really slowing the progress down. But um, as you are going slow and steady, you know, there's so much uh, to gain here, right? New things to see, new things to feel, um, you know, a heightened sense of awareness, a broader perspective, and more in tuned with the right path. And as you're going, I mean, I see you, Virgo, being in your <clears throat> knight of pentacles, actually, with that slow and steady and, and going towards your ten of pentacles with that golden palace, which really is a place of, you know, strong sense of security and stability. So some of you, you're building this. Some of you, you're somehow in, uh, coming into it, like what seems like an inheritance Right, like you probably always. Once you get there, if you're not there, you you're gonna you'll you'll remember this too because it'll happen <laughs> when you get there. You'll be like, oh yeah, secret shaman said that. When you get there, you'll be like, that. No wonder I always felt like that was for me. Like you always will know that something, you know, grand. Maybe what seems grand, but most mo but mostly it's comforting is meant for you, especially when it comes to your own sense of security, right? Feeling balanced no matter what. What else? 
the dragon's lyre. So we are in a place of something is being really protected here. So hmm, do we want to come in or out? I'm feeling like we're wanting to come out and breathe some life into something here. So I'm seeing you, you know, as the dragon <laughs> actually inside of the hair. But I feel like you're, you know, you're attracting uh, so something or someone towards you that it's time to come and play, come to life, come out and play. It's like another dragon that's flying around. Hey, Virgo, you home? Come out and play. <laughs> okay, let's see. I want a little bit more with this. The dragon's lair. Give us more. Yeah, I feel like you got some kind of new profound gift or insight or talent. It's like, bring it out. <laughs> Let's get a little bit more with this. What do you want Virgo to know about the dragon's lair? Mm, we need to get out, I think. I think it's time to get out. Mm -hmm. Stuck in the mud. Oh my gosh. And Look, both of these cards are, wow. Both of these cards are elephants. Mm. Looks like elephant medicine is coming in and into play. Okay. Stuck in the mud and listening. Remain just more aware. Now, Virgo, some of you, you're going to have a harder time than, uh, uh, than others, okay, with like... Uh, allowing your mind to go into the past or your emotions to go in toward, you know, you know, involved or looking at things that, you know, we might feel we're losing our patience in. Okay. Uh, but I, I do feel that when you're feeling a spark, because there's something here about coming to life. Okay. Something, uh, something is, uh, already at work here. Now, when you are in a place of being, you know, aware, because I see the dragon's eyes over here, on the lookout, we have some type of opportunity, okay? So listen and listen to others. Pay attention to what's going on in and around you. You might not even notice that there's a bird, because now I'm seeing you as, you know, embodying the elephant energy here. And look at the bird. It's like right on your back. Um, so take it slow, right? Sometimes if you're going too fast, you can get yourself uh, more stuck actually. So isn't that interesting? So just pay attention, listen, and observe. If you feel that you're stuck in the mud, this is a time to, you know, utilize that time for, you know, good things, right? Attract good things to your life. Feed yourself good thoughts, good food, good music, do healthy things for you. If, if there's nothing you can do, do that. That starts the, the momentum. That starts to open up solutions. That also opens up opportunities. I feel like somebody wants to have a conversation with you or somebody wants to play. Okay, it could even be, um, you know, uh, the same sex as you or not. I just feel like there's something about, you know, kindred spirits here as, as well. So just be willing to listen, listen to yourself, um, to when it comes to protecting the things that you want to protect your dreams, your future dreams, your goals. Okay. Because they don't need to fall on everybody's ears, right? With that envy. What else? Gosh, I feel like you're dealing with a liar or you dealt with a liar. I don't know. I just saw the word liar with that, the dragon's lair. And I just feel it with that envy or something like that. So, you know, I, I don't want to make a too big of a deal about it, you know, seek solitude is okay something is coming together it is coming actually a lot more effortless than you realize take some time to utilize your solitude time for the best time you know if if all you can do is have a little peace by spending some time by yourself then do that you know you're honoring something when it comes to setting boundaries 
uh, to seek some insight within, to fill your own cup up. Because if you don't fill your own cup up, how are you going to help and fill up another one here? Because, you know, there is a situation where we've got some type of union coming together. Love, partnership, friendship, an important person in one's life here. It feels the same to me. I mean, we got two drafts. We got the two elephants. You got two flamingos, two butter. I mean, even the flamingos have like wings like butterflies. Oh my. <laughs> it's really a blessed situation here. What else for Virgo? Don't think too much. Think less. Okay, less is best right now, Virgo. I feel like that's your mantra. <laughs> less is best, right? Less thinking. <laughs> Especially if you're overthinking. Less doing if you're overdoing it. <clears throat> Just find that balance. What else for Virgo? Also, Virgo, you could be, I'm glad that just showed up. You could be finding yourself spending some time in solitude with another or few um, and have some real profound growth and learning with one another, okay? Um, you know, I'm just seeing three people are spending some time, quality time with one another, uh, talking or, you know, learning. They could be sharing ideas. They could also be noticing your quality work or something that you might be establishing and building here. You need to go by, uh, you know, I think I've said this lately with you too, Virgo is going by sight or no, excuse me, going by, no, not sight, going by <laughs> faith, not by sight. Okay. Cause there, there's more going on and yeah, I, <laughs> I feel that spirit is, um, you know, between you and spirit, there's great protection for future fortune, your fortune now, um, and also, you know, what you're capable of doing here. So, you know, this is a time where slow and steady is best. You know, you don't want to rush your work or projects or whatever it is, ideas. You know, we're, we're focusing on quality here. Uh, so some of you Virgos, you know, whatever you're doing, building, crafting, or whatever you're skilled at here, so something will be acknowledged if it's not, okay? And I do see some dreams coming true here. Hmm. Now I wonder, because I kind of wonder for some of you if you've been in too much solitude as well though too. So because it might be time to to come out as well. Let's get a little bit more with the solitude for Virgo. I mean, I can see that being the five of uh, wands though with that envy. So yeah, you know, <clears throat> if you need, wherever you need to uh, seek some peace, do so. It's important because you've already learned something. And I just feel that your back is just really to the past here or situations or people that you're not willing to put up with anymore because you've seen something and it's already solidified with you. Let's go a bit more with the solitude for Virgo. And sometimes we need that time and space to be by ourselves, especially after we've gone through some type of tremendous transformation, change. Let's get more with the solitude for a Virgo. Yeah, seek solitude here. You know, you're you're really being protected from some type of circumstance, situation, or people that like to start up a storm, you know, or, or something, you know, it's like just being protected by, you know, some forces that are out of your control. So thank God. So when you're feeling a, a pull to just spend some time alone, do it, okay? You're better off staying calm and peaceful. You don't need to go out into the storm. What else for Virgo? Details, details, details. Look at that. Wow, that's like, 
you know, something about quality and details. Pay attention to the details. Don't overlook details, especially when it comes to learning, uh, crafting, building, okay, your dreams, whatever it is, okay? Seek clarity if you need to. Take your time with things, though. You're meant to take your time with things. What else for Virgo? And also, Virgo, we have, uh, you know, more Earth energy coming through with that Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you, Virgos, you might be feeling like you want to do something on your own. You might be ready to split off, right? Um, because maybe you're ready to, you know, do something on your own here. You've taken in what you needed to take, um, and you want to continue to do what you're, you know, doing here. So, you know, do that if that feels right for you. But also just be willing to, you know, let others recognize your work or something, you know, with ideas. Um, and again, pay attention to things right now. Deep freeze. Magic prayer. Wow. It's like the, the four, you know, you got the forces of nature and the forces of spirit here working, protecting things here. So sometimes being stuck in the mud is actually a, a blessing in disguise. Okay. But listen though, take time to listen. And we even have the lion that's on ice here. So, you know, remember this thing about staying away from storm fields. That's, that's bad people, right? Especially people that, you know, maybe, um, we just have to have some type of compassion and understanding that maybe they just can't get over what they need to get over to be calm and chill and peaceful, right? So, but you can, you know, this is a time where it is okay to put things on um, ice. And maybe for some of you, there was like this sense of fueling something here. So we're channeling maybe some kind of anger or, you know, challenging energy into that fire energy where we're breathing life into something else. And look at that magic prayer because you are the one that's receiving the answers to your prayers here. Take time if you need time to give into praying, affirmation, you know, doing whatever you need to do f to feel good, to feel um, also empowered here. Because I feel that there's something about focusing on your strengths, okay? I feel you're ready to take a break. <laughs> and maybe you have been taking a break. What else for Virgo? Yeah, I feel that, see, this is this coming apart thing because we're coming into something else here that's meant to, right? And you even have the coming together. So we've got the coming apart so that something is coming together here. And this one's, this one came out a little challenging with the bone collector. You know, whatever has you felt has been taken from you, Virgo, this is why don't give in to comparing your life to another or even feel envious of others. If any of you are feeling like that, and I'm, I'm not saying all of you are, um, but I do see others being env envious of you because of where you're going and where you're headed here, you know? And so this bone collector is saying, don't worry, whatever has come apart needs to, you know, and anything in the past, um, you know, you have taken the time and continue to take time to just learn from them. Know that you're going to be given everything that you felt maybe was taken from you or something you haven't experienced. Uh, because you've got guardian guardian angels and ancient ones here that are um, preparing you for the next cycle of something that is again may feel long overdue right you might have been feeling like things have been taken away from you um, but it's all for good reasons because there's something magical happening with you okay so it's like you are um just this channel of good luck. And I bet you when people are around you, they think that you're good luck too. <laughs> so whatever, whatever's coming apart, don't worry. We've got the bone collector here collecting your experiences, but not making you of your experiences because if anything, what it will make you of is the strong part, right? The things that are, that things that matter here, but you're getting ready to collect what you need to collect 
See, this is why I was getting this thing where less is best because you're getting ready to, you know, collect what you need to on your path, your new path. And what's coming apart is some kind of real difficult, challenging past, or maybe someone that was very challenging that you dealt with. <clears throat> what else for Virgo? We got two cards here that are showing um, coming together here. Oh, good. We're making more money too. Told you. Be willing to do something different though, Virgo. Uh, stretch yourself. Get out of the comfort zone if you need to. So put this in your situation. Um, you know, for yeah, for a lot of you, you, you need. To, it's essential for you to meditate, to take care of your health, to avoid the storm as much as possible, because I do feel that there's a storm, you know, that, you know, these are outside forces anyways, that out of your control, but you can choose to either go out into it or you can stay safe here. Right. Um, and that's fine and dandy when you need to, uh, but the storms don't last forever. So <laughs> when the time comes, be willing to move on and do something a little different or change something, uh, don't hesitate, okay, because there's a new door opening. We got a path to money here, a path to value, and you got that golden palace, which I see as the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So it definitely can lead to great sense of financial security for the long run, <laughs> happiness, marriage, whatever. I feel that you're, you know, more than ready, right? And taking what you need. What else? Also, don't let something be too comfortable. You know, well, I don't want to say it like that. I mean, I feel with that also the guard in the gate, you know, she's really comfortable where she's at, but there's something that's pulling her. You know, there's a yearning for something. Yeah, because something is pulling you, coming together. Because you feel it. You're guided by the universe. Cleaning house decluttering, cleaning your environment, simplifying, cleaning the mind, cleaning the emotions, whatever you do. I would start first. Yeah. Look around your environment. Is there a, a, you know, can you get rid of things? Can you tidy up? Can you, you know, whatever it is, this is a time to clear that space, clean the energy. Okay. Shake things up, maybe move things around. And also take care of yourself, okay? Clear your energy, your aura, your mind, your spirits. It's okay. Oops. What else for Virgo? Virgo, we got this, the, a new world is revealing. And we got that first chakra here. Archangel Michael is showing you something here about your own world. Okay. So we got this, uh, I feel like this is you Virgo hermit. I always see this uh, person here as the hermit, you know, cause he's, he's doing his thing. He's gone through a long journey, soul searching, understanding or seeking wisdom. And now we are being revealed things and situations that maybe, you know, wasn't so shiny and bright, but now what's being revealed is a whole new, well, that's what it's going to seem like a whole new world, bright, shiny, magical, because Archangel Michael is helping you. And now some of you Virgos, there might be something going on with, you know, getting healed in, with your eyes or eyesight sharpening here. I don't know. I'm getting something strong about that or focus, you know, pay attention and focus. Okay. Cause Archangel Michael is really guiding you to stay strong, to stay true to your path, uh, to not be afraid to get rid of attachments or things that, you know, you know that you're already over it anyhow. So now some of you have already gotten rid of things or ideas, habits, people, whatever. Okay. And so a revealing, of a new world is brought to you by your angels here, you know, protecting this whole future for yourself. 
What else for, and this is like a world for you to claim. What else for Virgo? We got the goblins. Oh my gosh. See, you've got to clean house. This is why you're cleaning house. Because when we don't clean house energetically, metaphorically, real, things be, things can really eat at you and it could really disturb you and it can cause even other stresses, right? So, you know, <laughs> the goblins aren't so scary because to me, I mean, I can see those little like green eyes and stuff like that, but remember who you are. <laughs> you, got, you got something going on here that's strong and powerful. You've got this dragon and you've got the breath of fire here. So, it's like, yeah, you can either destroy these goblins and you can also breathe new life into something. See how powerful you are? Yeah, we're just going to clean what we need to clean up, okay? And that's all that is. What else for uh, Virgo? Okay, that's it for those. So Virgo, let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future. What does Virgo have to look forward to in the near future? Oh yeah, wide open, baby. Of course, wide open. Because look at you on your path here, right? And allowing things and source to surround you because you're really open and free. I'm seeing you powerfully attract things as well. Let's get a little bit more with this wide open for you, Virgo, when it comes to the near future. Wizard of Awareness. See, there's something strong about you really holding the space of awareness. I really get you also being in the Three of Wands, some fire energy, and also you will be guided. There's no doubt about it. Something is going to show up, reveal itself. Uh, uh, I'm getting like Ace of Wands is what I'm getting, Virgo. So, you know, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with these uh, two cards. And we've got this total awareness and I see you on this, you know, cliff or mountain here. So we're in, we're at a place of higher perspective where opportunities, where actually you have an advantage to seek out opportunities, right? Uh, ahead of time or be first, because I feel Virgo, maybe you guys have felt like always, maybe not always, but it's like, you know, later than everyone else or something like that. But you, you know, also know that you're special and unique. And God and the angels love you. This is why you have this gift. You have the gift of wizard of awareness. So there isn't too much that you need to do. You just need to take things slow. You're soaking up details, information, uh, something new about your environment, right? Because things are changing. Uh, the mundane will become new. So yeah, this wide open is all, you know, I see you attracting uh, possibly this wizard of awareness to you as well. Okay. So someone that could really bring enlightenment, insight, passion, you know, um, it just works good together. This is why it's coming together. Let's find out how spirit is currently helping you, Virgo. How is uh, spirit currently helping Virgo? Oh, mm-hmm. Let's see what's. Uh, let me let me uh, let me look. Go. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Guess what, Virgo? Some of you guys. Um, yeah. So how spirits? I just wanted to. I wanted to keep looking. That's all. Broken heart, goddess of the moon, spirits helping you guys really hold true to what you really desire and believe that you are going to get fulfillment. Spirits helping you guys heal and mend a broken heart, whether it was years ago, or whatever, or recently, it still has some impact, right? We've got this impact, 
you know, um, perhaps we're even haunted by past actions or something that has happened in one's life, but you are being gifted some type of beautiful gift and insight, um, and you are receiving. So the good thing is, is it will seem effortless, whatever appears or insight, a dream of yours, it will seem effortless because you're tuning into your source and you are opening yourself up to uh, being very receptive here in health, healing. Some of you, you could have had a broken heart because we felt very restrained in a situation. We felt tied up financially or time, energy, whatever it was. So we're transforming this whole situation and don't you like that we have that financial constraints and you got the door to value with the golden palace and the three of pentacles so it's all signifying things are building up for you okay and this is how spirit's helping you overcoming a broken heart trusting yourself and illuminating your path brilliantly actually here so fulfillment is on your path regardless of the circumstance or the situation just believe and believe in your own a gifts and abilities too and also there could be someone that spirits helping you uh, bring into your life also that will uh, could also perhaps not all of you but give you more um, in-depth insight okay about your situation because they could be like a psychic a gifted healer also you um, embody that as well I can I can see for a lot of you anyhow I hope that was helpful love and light